Hi, I'm Doug Adams from Doug's Apple Scripts for iTunes, and today I'm going to show you what I think you'll find is a convenient way to edit your track tags in iTunes with Multi-Item Edit. It's a tool that makes all the selected tracks tags accessible in a single, always available floating window. While iTunes is running, launch Multi-Item Edit. While it's active, it'll detect when the track selection in iTunes changes. So when I select some tracks, Multi-Item Edit calculates their common tags and settings and displays them. Most tags are easily accessible to edit in this single window. The sort tags are accessible from this drawer. And artwork can be dragged or pasted to this artwork well. So I'll just edit the album tag, change the rating, and then click the Apply button. The checkmark tags, in this case name, rating, and artwork, will be copied to each track in the current iTunes selection. Multi-Item Edit also works with single selected tracks just a little differently. You can cursor through some tracks in iTunes and see their tags or edit them. When Apply is clicked in single item mode, only the tag information that is different from the original selected tracks tags will be copied. By default, information tracking is on. And as you've seen, that means that whenever you select one or more tracks on iTunes, Multi-Item Edit will display the tag and settings information for those tracks. But you can toggle information tracking off so that while Multi-Item Edit can still detect the selected tracks, it will ignore their tags and settings. In this way, the window essentially becomes an entry form, and you can apply the same information to different batches of track selections. When information tracking is toggled back on, it will resume tracking tag information beginning when the next track selection is made in iTunes. You may find it convenient to save the current configuration of tag and option settings so that these same settings can be reloaded and used again in the future. Click Save Configuration in the File menu and enter a name for the configuration. To load a saved configuration, click Load Configuration in the File menu. If there's only one saved configuration, it will load automatically. Otherwise, you can choose which configuration to load. Those are the basics. Multi-item edit. You can try it free and full-featured for 10 days. And if you like it and use it, it's just $1.99. I'm Doug Adams from Doug's Apple Scripts for iTunes. DougScripts.com. I'll talk to you next time.